SMT Nation, we are back. Good to have you guys here for this video. Please give it a like and a share uh, if you guys like what you're seeing here in this particular video as we take a deep dive into the performance of the T-Mobile network and Mint Mobile access too. All right, so what we have is a Samsung Galaxy S24, so a model year phone. Uh, this one is going to be, you know, up to date. And we're just going to compare the two types of network access. I have a T-Mobile business line that we're going to test. And then I also have a Mint Mobile line. You guys know they're our partner. And I want to show you guys how comparable that Mint Mobile prepaid service is compared to actual T-Mobile proper. And there's different reasons to have either one of those services. But we're just going to kind of compare the network access to see how Mint Mobile stacks up. Uh, so we're going to start here first with the T-Mobile line. And I'm going to run five tests. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through them, and then we'll take a look at the results once they're all done. All right, folks, so the top five tests, one, two, three, four, five, were all taken here, and it's about five o'clock in the evening, right around dinner time on a Saturday. All right, these are our top five tests. All right, we have got downlink throughput going from the low end at 183 megabit, uh, but we're hanging around the 300s. Here's 285. And then from the uplink side of it, uh, we're ranging between uh, like a half a meg, quarter meg. Uh, there's one megabit per second, two megabits per second. That's what we got on the T-Mobile access. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and switch the uh, provider. I'm going to go from my T-Mobile SIM over to my Mint Mobile SIM. By the way, both of these are eSIM profiles on the S24, so I'll just go into the settings. I'm going to go ahead and switch the lines, and we'll go ahead and get started with that testing. All right, so we've gone ahead and officially switched over the SIM cards. I've switched the eSIM from my T-Mobile postpaid business over to the Mint Mobile SIM. And this is the unlimited data plan for Mint Mobile. Uh, you guys probably have heard me talk about this and how I think it's a great plan and a great way to save money with all Mint Mobile's great promotions. Uh, but for this particular video, we're just testing throughput. All right, we're going to compare it. We're going to run five tests the same way we did for T-Mobile proper. We're going to do the same thing here for Mint, so you guys can check things out. Uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and fast forward this for you guys, and we'll take a look at the results. We'll run five tests. All right, so we actually just got a complete restart of the device. Uh, it wanted to do some kind of a carrier restart, but... It's okay. No problem. It just takes a minute. Uh, just to let you guys know, we've only used a few gigs of data on the Mint Mobile plan, maybe somewhere between like 5 and 10 gigs. And then on the T-Mobile line, I think I've used somewhere around 5 to 10 gigs as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the five tests for you guys, and then we'll compare those five tests from Mint Mobile over to the T-Mobile postpaid proper. All right, so now we're on test number two. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward it. All right, folks, so let's compare the Mint Mobile 5 tests to the T-Mobile 5 tests. So one, two, three, four. We've got five tests for Mint Mobile here at the top. We've got downlink throughput in the 500s, and we've got uplink throughput. Uh, we're ranging between about six or seven megs, upwards of 11 megs here. The results were actually better than my T-Mobile postpaid business results, which... I'm kind of surprised. I was looking at more of a situation where I was hoping that the Mint Mobile would be close to the T-Mobile access, but for whatever reason, maybe it's the way the line is provisioned. Maybe I'm getting deprioed on the T-Mobile business line, and I'm just not aware of it. I don't know, but in this particular instance, being under the 10 gigs of usage, uh, or I'm estimating somewhere between 5 and 10 gigs, I think... Um, the Mint Mobile speeds are really, really good. Now, what happens after the 30 gigs of, or I think it's up to 40 gigs, what happens after that point, I'm going to test and I'm going to see and I'll make some videos on it. But in the priority type data allotment, right, within the provided high speed data, the performance here is really good. In fact, turned out to be better than T-Mobile, surprisingly, relative to just throughput. And something else, and here I picked out this T-Mobile one, you'll see the latencies are just out of hand. I have no idea what's going on there. So that's just some preliminary testing here. Uh, I'm not going to say that this is conclusive. 
I'm going to be using this Mint Mobile service for a lot of different stuff. I'm going to do more videos. I'm going to compare like video resolution, um, show you guys what type of video expectations you could have. I'll test the hotspot. I'll do some other videos. But that's kind of T-Mobile postpaid versus Mint, which is prepaid. Uh, it's performing pretty good. I, I think that's a postpaid experience, relatively speaking, uh, with respect to network access. What do you guys think? And, but you know, comment, tell me what you think of the results, and if you're surprised, or if that's what you expected, or maybe you share some of those same experiences. How have, how's Mint been for you, or if you're using a T-Mobile? You know, what is the network experience like for, in your case? But if you guys are interested in trying the Mint Mobile service, we do have a partner link. It's down in the description. I'm really happy with it so far. So far, so good. Thanks for watching, folks. See you all in the next video.